I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Slim Savage, Slim Lincoln, Slim Nick Infinity Don't need you to confirm what I'm finna be I can wind it down with my enemies I can show the blind what I get to see I can teach the why something interesting Change the paralysis, not feeling me I can close the fine identity Yeah, yeah, what up, what up, what up, world? Peace, salute to every single one of y'all out there Y'all already know what the business is Um, Wanted to come to y'all, talk to y'all for a couple minutes I know normally it's all about battle rap and Things like that, and it's always a lot of fun and energy in what we do, but I wanted to talk to y'all, you know what I mean, my brothers and sisters out here, for a couple of minutes, you know what I mean, and um, just, you know, tell y'all what's been going on, what uh, I've been doing, and what a lot of other people have been doing in this whole thing that's going on with the George Floyd and a lot of the racism that's going on in America. Um, like I said, you know, normally in a week like this, you got a lot of things going on, and we would be talking about, you know, a lot of things, but... I had to like shift the focus, I mean shift my focus, and um, talk about something that was just a little bit bigger, a lot bigger than what I have going on as far as battle rap, you know what I mean? Like who would I be? I feel like who would I be personally to just jump in front of a camera and just continue to act like nothing's going on in this world when there is a whole lot going on in this world. I mean, we've been dealing with these type of situations for, um, quite some time now with police and police brutality and um, unarmed black people dying at the hands of the police and it got to a point where now people are fed up people are, are fed up and it cannot happen anymore it should have been stopped you know i know and the reason why i'm even doing this um blog is because someone asked me in the comments you know you put out a video the other day you know you spoke a little bit about it with sue surf and oops but we want your unfiltered opinion about what's going on so i say you know while everything is going on and while you know a lot of things are happening i will speak to you directly and tell you how i feel my thoughts and this is just um by me and for me so you know you have a lot of people like and i and i know that there's many 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 more that I, you know, have seen, have heard of, some that we probably haven't even heard of, but we have the Tamir Rices, the Rodney Kings, the uh, Walter Scotts, the Mike Browns, the Sandra Blands, the Philando Castiles, the Freddie Graves, the Breonna Taylors, the Tatiana Jeffersons, Sean Bells, Amadou Diallos, and many, many, many more names who have been senselessly killed, Ahmed Arbery, that have been killed by the police or in police custody. And I know there are some people who say, well, Armand Arbery wasn't killed by the police. He was. The George McMichael is a former cop, a former, you know, deputy, a former federal, you know, he, he worked with the police. And we deal with these situations where, you know, it happens over and over and over and over again to the point where, what do you think is gonna happen? This is, this is not just, I, I said it in a tweet, in a bunch of tweets, I've tweeted a lot during this um, whole thing that this is not a one-time thing. This is not just George Floyd. This is this is years and years. This is Sean Bell. This is Amadou Diallo. This is Eric Garner. This is this is many, many, many scenarios that have happened over and over and over and over and over. And black people are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Like we are sick. We live in a country where they say, "United we stand, divided we fall." But as African Americans, we've never, this country has never, ever been united with us. We, we, haven't, we haven't got the, the same equal rights. We don't have the same school systems. We don't have the same health care. We don't have the same rights, the same job opportunities. You know, we don't have these things. And we've dealt with it for years and years and years. And we never even got mad. I mean, we may have been frustrated. And we, we may have voiced our opinions about health care reform and things like that, but we've lived and we've overcame a lot of the things that we didn't have growing up. You know, a lot of people, they say, you know, when you grow up in the hood, I'm from the Bronx, and I've seen what's happened in the Bronx during this time frame. In some scenarios, you know, you look at it like, I understand. That's, what, that's the one thing I will say about this. I understand. When I see looting and I see rioting and I see 
protest, whether peaceful or non-peaceful, I understand. Why would somebody, when they say, why would somebody break into an ATM? Why would somebody break into a clothing store? Well, I, I understand. You have people that have been in the house for two, three months with the whole Corona pandemic. And then you turn around and take 40 million jobs from people. And then this happens. What do you think somebody's going to do? You think they're not going to go out there and rob and steal? And, and you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you, 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 you give people really no choice. Um, you have families of people who haven't had a job, mothers and fathers who have lost their jobs. Do you think that people are not going to go outside and get it by any means? That's all they know. So, you know, our, our, our parents grew up, a lot of our parents grew up working hard, busting their ass, trying to make ends meet. Not for us to be senselessly killed by the police, you know what I'm saying? And these are now a lot of these police are looking like monsters with weapons. And they're high a lot of them are hiding behind their badges and they're doing things that are senseless. When you when I seen the video, uh, originally the video of Derek Chauvin and his three accomplices um on top of George Floyd, so many emotions run through you. You see this video of them literally standing on top, of, like kneeling on top of this man's back, choking him while he's saying he cannot breathe. He cannot breathe, calling out for his mother. And it's, it became another senseless, unarmed, black death. The man was already in handcuffs. He was already on the ground. And you still, while people are standing there telling you, Get off of him. He can't breathe. You're choking him. Yo, y'all ain't sh like cursing these police out. And I know that there's people who are saying, why didn't the folks that were there jump in? Um, you, you, that doesn't really happen often because now you turn one body into two bodies. So people that filmed it while you wish they would have jumped in and while you wish that they would have done something, you know, it, it it, you you you, rec you you replace that scenario ten times over, and unfortunately you have an unarmed black man that's killed. Um, and you know, as a battle rap blogger, you know we have a, a, a lot of us have you know pretty big fan bases, and I'm not perfect and never will be. You know what I'm saying? There are people that love me, there are people that hate me, there are people who watch me, there are people who won't. But I think most importantly, using the platform to put out a positive message in the wake of uh of what's going on i think is needed you know because at the end of the day regardless of if whenever i decide to be done with blogging i'm going to always be black you know what i'm saying i will always be a black man i have children that are black you know what i'm saying I, I was raised in a black family i was raised in the hood you know what i'm saying you think that people in power want to see positive messages being put out Messages that can be unfiltered, messages that nobody can tell me what to say. I can stand in front of my camera and say whatever I want, whenever I want. I don't work for anybody. I'm independent. I do not work for anybody. I do not have anybody that's calling me saying, "Hey, man, you got to take that down." You know, that doesn't that doesn't happen here. I can say whatever I want, whenever I want, and I think that's the beauty of the thing. Um, I must say that we have to as a people continue to strive and fight for our rights. They don't hear when we pro when we protested and we did things peacefully. Colin Kaepernick did things peacefully, you know? He did. What did that get him? That got him ostracized, that got him blackballed, that got him out of a job. That got him looked at as a monger of hate. That had him looked at as, you know, somebody who wasn't doing things the right way. That got him nothing. People did not hear. I guarantee you that if we didn't go out into these streets and burn and riot and break and loot, those four officers wouldn't have been arrested. Maybe one, but not the other three. Those other three probably wouldn't have got arrested. They, the, the, pol the, the police looked at that originally like there was nothing wrong. There are a lot of police. You see they have groups and they have to, they didn't see anything wrong in what happened. They saw nothing wrong with what happened. You know, but when you mix all of these things together, you have the perfect storm for what happened. You, th this was created by the hate of the police. And I'm not for any means, any means,
trying to drive hate towards any race you know what i'm saying like i don't i don't i don't rock like that because i'm gonna be honest with you white people in my lifetime professionally and as in in the working world and in the business world white people have done a lot for me in in some instances white people have done more for me than my own people when it comes to consumers with the business white people are are phenomenal when it comes to support there are a lot of support so I don't have not a drop not a single millisecond of hate in me towards white people but I love black people my own daughter her mom is half white you know what I mean and she's you know the rest black I'm black and her mother's half black too so I have no hate in me for any race you know what I'm saying let's just get that out the way but I clearly see what's going on, you know what I'm saying, I clearly see, I get the large picture, you know what I'm saying, I get the large picture, your arms ain't too short to box with God, nigga, you know what I'm saying, bars, nigga, um, but like I said, as a battle rap blogger, we, um, we do have the esteemed pleasure of reaching the masses, I put out a tweet the other day, it was a video George Floyd's daughter saying my daddy changed the world and I think <laughs> he did what? Daddy changed the world. Daddy changed the world. That's right, daddy, daddy changed, changed the, world. the world. I seen the video and I was like, man, this is a phenomenal message. I said um I wanted to post it. So I took the video and I posted it. And um that one post did uh 21 million views in a day. It, it, 21 million people saw that video and um seven million people played it so i said the only thing that I, you know a lot of times when people have these viral posts they like to promote themselves you know what i mean so what i did was i used that opportunity i said the only thing i got to promote is her official gofundme stephen jackson posted it on his ig so it's legit so i took her gofundme the gofundme for um his daughter and put it in that tweet and when i first posted it it had about 30 40 grand in it and a day or two later, it's $1.3 million that people have raised for his daughter. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm, a, I'm not crediting that all to that tweet, but I know 21 million people saw it. And there were people in there saying, I donated, I donated, I donated, I donated under the tweet that I had posted. And that's just the power of what one person can do as far as trying to, you know, get a word out. And that's all I wanted to do was saying it was the most heartbreaking but sweet thing that I've ever seen because you see that he has children. You know what I'm saying? You see that um, the, 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 the nation reacted. And what I will say is that never in our lives have we ever seen a whole country, every single state protested, whether violently or nonviolently. Listen, no justice, no peace. You're going to get it one way or another. You might not like the way you get it, but you're going to get what you're getting. Hey, you might, I mean, how, how are you mad? I, that's, are you mad? Are you mad? Huh? Let me get some water for the slaughter. Because we're going to wrap this up in a couple seconds. But are you mad? Yeah, I know. And the, you know what was the craziest thing about it? There were people that were more upset about the rioting, the looting than they were about an unarmed black man being killed. And you know, that's when I feel like you have a serious problem in society. How can you be more upset that stores with things that are replaceable, these things are, you could get this stuff back. Most of these stores have insurance. If they don't have insurance, they foolish. They have insurance and you're mad that people went to stores and took liquor and food and stupid shit like that. Nobody cares about that stuff. And you know what I'll tell you? What I will tell you is if you think it's bad now, if you think it's bad now, if you think it's bad now, let these police not be convicted. Let them get off. Let them get off and you're going to really see. You're going to really see the power of what people can do. Um, now, what I will say is, have there been people who have been opportunistic? Of course there have been people who have been opportunistic. It happens every day. Opportunists are, are, are you know, 
opportunist it just happens like of course there's people who are just out looting because other people are doing it you know what i mean like whether it's black white or whatever the case may be there are people who's just trying to steal something but guess what that comes along with it that's that that's they're reaping the benefit of what's going on right now it is what it is you know you can't i'm not mad at it i understand it i would i do it no personally i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go break into tearing up where I live at, you know, I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go burn down the Target in my neighborhood. I need Target. What the fuck? I'm not. That's just me. I'm not gonna do that. But I understand why somebody else did it. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I have no issue with that. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Like, you. I've drove through where I live, and stores have been looted. They looted a Burlington Co. Factory. They looted a Forever 21. A Panda Express, they broke into Best Buy. I seen they, they happen. It trust me, it has happened. Am I mad? No, not at all. Why I feel no way? I feel no fucking way about it. Why would I feel a way about that? No. But as a black man, I do feel a way about an unarmed black man being killed. Again. Again. You know, again, when I grew up, when I was young, I remember Amadou Diallo being shot and killed. I'm from New York. I remember the Amadou Diallo. Um, I remember Eric Gardner, I remember Sean Bell, I remember all of these situations one by one by one. It's like, damn, where does this shit end? Where does this end? And you would hope that there's be some kind of end in sight, you know? And um, I just want to say shout out to everybody out there who's uh, spreading the word, putting out a positive message. Uh, like I said, I haven't really been doing a lot of battle rap stuff this week. Um, it really hasn't been in me, you know what I mean? I'm just be honest with you. Like I don't have, I didn't have really like a lot of the energy to just sit here and just be excited and be energetic and things like that. Not with everything going on. Like, and I hope that the people who watch me, you know, that 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 have followed me through all of these years, support and understand why we haven't really been um, doing a lot of battle rap stuff this week. We'll get back to it. Loso battles JC this weekend and then there's a um Bill Collector versus Glue Easy. We'll recap all of that stuff. But for now I just um I'm just taking this week to like really reflect and look at things internally, you know what I'm saying? And just uh really, really see where we at in the world because it's it's now is literally feeling like nineteen sixty five. Like we're in the, we are we in the civil rights, you know, again? Like when people say no justice, no peace, they mean that, you know, no justice, no peace. Like, there will be no peace until there's no justice. Um, the other three police officers were arrested. Um, how I feel about that, it's cool, but we need convictions. Um, they got at aiding and abetting a murder. I, I mean, those charges aren't really that significant. They're charges, but they're not significant. Being that the other two officers had their knees in his back too and helped facilitate his death. I thought they should have been charged with something more, maybe manslaughter or something like that. But they upped the charge on Chauvin to from um, third degree murder to second degree. So while these arrests are, are you know, enlightening, they're not anything to celebrate because we need convictions. And even if they are convicted, it's still nothing to celebrate because it shouldn't have happened. So um, other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, thank you for the support, uh, you know, and um, you know what it is, man. Um, Y'all just stay up and stay blessed out here. And um, we're going to keep this thing moving. You already know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Slim Savage, Slim Lincoln, Slim Lincoln Infinity Don't need you to confirm what I'm finna be I can wind it down with my enemies I can show the blind what I get to see I can teach the why something interesting Change the paralyzed is not feeling me I can close the fine identity Licks the poem zippers I wrote Just another nigga different, I know Learned to love my roots as I grow Many want a noose on my throat The last of a dying breed